Hello everyone and welcome to this demo about the new iBWAV mobile survey app running on Android. Um, today with you Jamal Ramul, sales engineer and product owner for Enterprise Solution. I'm going to show you how you can define or design a project using iBWAV design, uh, model the floor plan, save it to the cloud, download it from the mobile app, iBWAV mobile survey, and then do your survey to capture Wi-Fi and cellular. So let's get started. This is iBWF Design Enterprise. If I want to start a new project, just click on new project. Let's name it Mobile Survey Demo. Now I'm going to create a floor plan. Just right click, go to properties, load maybe a CAD drawing I have. And then when I load the CAD drawing, I have the option to clean that CAD drawing by just clicking on any layer and then check or uncheck this layer. And I will be able to clean my CAD and then assign um, the material. For example, this one is concrete. Click on the inter interior walls. Maybe this one is plasterboard, drywall. And maybe I can add the doors. This one is door, wood, for example. And you see I could define the bottom height and the top height. So from zero to three meter by default or nine to 10 feet. So here a door, maybe it's 2.8 meters. Then I convert, everything else will be converted into an image, except the walls, they have materials. And they actually um, have values for your design. They have lost values for your design. So now this is my floor plan. I just need to maybe um, add a horizontal surface. So if I don't have a CAD, I could draw different walls or I could load just an image and just save that image. But here I'm just going to add a horizontal surface um, to create the ground floor and the area where I want my prediction to happen or my survey interpolation to happen. So this is my ground floor. And I just want to define an area actually. So that's the area where I want my prediction to happen. So this is my area of concern. So I quickly within 30 seconds, um, I could, so I need to scale it. So I take the ruler, draw a line. For example, this is 50 meters. And I could use um, Google Earth to scale it with geo coordinate. This is just an example. And then once scaled, I could see actually the building in 3D. And that's my floor plan in 3D. And I could generate as many floor plan as needed. But again, when you're doing survey, you might not need to do a 3D modeling. You just need a floor plan. So once a floor plan is created, if you have floor two, three, five, depending how many floors you need, let's say we duplicate that one and we create, let's say floor two, and floor three, so we need two floors. Now we begin floor two and floor three, duplicated from the first one, let's say how is building, same floor plan, now we have a building. I just need to design the roof here. And I could actually activate the wireframe and see through it. Here's my building. Okay, now that I created the project, I need to save it to um, to the cloud, right? So I would need to go to tools, option, and then under server configuration, define my um, server address. And I go to file, save as, and save to server. And I also have here could define the service. When I save to server, it would ask me where you want to put it. If it 
find an existing project, it will save it as a, a designer vision. If it's a new project, it's telling me it's a new project. So here, I'm creating a new project. I'm gonna save it. And I could select a type. Let's say this is a hotel or office building. And then could put the address, some comment, let's say floor plan creation. And put some information. Um, you see the designer, it's my name. Any, if I define the ID, it will show here, what's the currency. So some information about the project you could fill in here. And then you save that project and it will go to the cloud. Now it's saved. Let me go to the cloud. So here, our demo IWF cloud. I should be able to see all the projects after I log in. And this is the list of project. If I go to my project, I should be able to see the project that was just saved and it's parsing right now. And it should load all the information about this project. For example, what is the address? Um, is the file you could download? What type of building? Any information I populated will be saved here. Then once it's saved, it should take a few minutes just to parse and gather the data. And you have the, the drive here where you would be able to save any other document um, other than the design file. So you see the mobile file was created, which is IBWM. The design file is IBW, the extension. I could add any picture, document, PDF, CAD drawings, um, many things. So now let's go to the, to the app itself. So here's the mobile survey app when I launch it. I would need to define the, um, the server or the cloud. And then I will be able to download. So let me just launch it. It's at the tablet mode. So here I have the list of projects. Now, if I go to the options, I have settings. And here I need to define the. Um, server URL. So technically it's demo that IB wave cloud. Depending on your version, it could be a different name here. Or you could have Unity access. And then I need to type in my password. Okay, now I should just test, make sure connection is working. Okay, now it's successful. I can go back to my list of projects and I have this plus circle here where I could create a new project or open from server. So I see all list of project or only check my project that are saved on the cloud. And it will show me the project that are assigned to me or I created and I will be able to see this project. This is mobile survey demo. It will show me if there are different version. So we just created one. I should see only one version. So now it's downloading. Okay. Now that I downloaded my project, I see the different floors I define. I can go to the properties, update any information, address. Um, but if let's say I am on floor one, I wanna start a survey, then this is my floor one. Let me just adjust some layers here. Let's say I don't wanna see the, the zone. So let's say I am somewhere here at the entrance and I wanna start doing the survey. So. I have here the different options to add push pins, annotation, to add any markup, to create, let's say, walls or um, rooms, or and they could define also the cable route. So that's to document the building, but survey, I have the option to add a new survey here. So if I click on this one, I can select between cellular, Wi-Fi, or both, and have the option to do stop and go and continuous. 
I can also do active survey. This one is for Wi-Fi only. And then we need the server, um, active server server address. So here, and I could select stop and go or continuous. In this example, we're just gonna select cellular and do stop and go. So we will create a, sur a survey to capture whatever the phone is connected. Let's say it's connected to LTE. See, we'll capture the whatever cell of LTE. So let's say I am here, so I click here. And you see it turns green when it's completed. Then I walk, continue to walk. And maybe I'm walking on the corridor every three, five step or whatever, and I'm clicking, right? And it should record whatever data I have here. So let's say here, I'm going here. And then I walk the entire building. I could enter some rooms and maybe enter this room here, right? Do some survey data capture inside this room. Overall, the more that I capture, the more information I will gather, right? So let's say here, go back here, and try to capture as much data as possible. Here I'm just going a little bit faster. And once I captured all the area I wanna evaluate, I click the check mark here to select done. And now this is my data capture. So this is where I was walking. So the arrow here indicate where I started, the big circle here where I finished. And you see this is my LTE. So I was connected on 1900 um, PCS LTE. I was on channel 1075. I was on the cell with a PCI 451. And this is my RSSI map. I also have my RSRP map. So this is the coverage of my RSRP. And this is my RSRQ map. And this is my Sinar map. So overall, um, if I go to RSRP coverage wise, I'm between NEG 93 and NEG 100, somewhere here. So if I click on any data point, it will actually show me the values that were um, recorded. And remember, RSRP was between NEG 93 and NEG 100. So I'm um, NEG 75, which is, which is good coverage for RSRP. I have my RSSI, RSRQ, NEG 12 is, is a good value. It's okay. And I have my signal, which is 5 dB. It's a little bit low, but it's still usable. And then it's capturing the operator, the ID of operator, MCC, MNC, the tracking area code, in on BID, cell ID, PCI. The channel bandwidth is not recorded, but um, that is usually it's known. If, when you know the channel number, you know the channel bandwidth. It's also possible to calculate it using the RSSI and RSRP. So it's just a formula. The CQI, not all phones report CQI. Some will do, some will not. The one I'm using here in this demo does not report the CQI. So that's basically every single point I click, I will see um, the value is collected and you see the different values here. And that's basically the different maps you have for LTE, what you capture, and um, that's your survey for cellular. If you do Wi-Fi, you would see Wi-Fi here on the list of technology. If your phone is on 3G, let's say HSPA, or on 2G, like GSM or Edge, then you will capture the data for this technology. And so once you're done, let's say you walk all the floors, then you could click um, the cloud button here to save it on the cloud. You have the BDF here to generate a summary. So for example, I want to see the survey report. So I click on the survey map and I could generate the RSSI, for example. And so this will generate a report showing me, I could add, let's say, a title page and it will generate a PDF showing me, show me this. The information of the building and it's showing me the different coverage. So this is my RSSI and I could have different maps, right, for each floor. That was a quick, um, overview demo about iWave mobile survey. Thank you for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos.